So, we have our next example that is water flows into a cylindrical tank at 12 cubic feet per minute. The surface rises 6 inches per minute. Find the radius of the tank. So, if you are going to look at here, if you are going to look at here, this is now your cylindrical tank. Water is flowing inside at a rate of 12 cubic feet per minute. The height of the water that is changing whenever there is a change or there is an increase of the volume of water. While the radius of the water is constant even though there is an increase of water inside the cylindrical tank. It is very important that you are going to determine what is constant and what is changing in the problem. So what is constant here? Radius. Radius is constant because whenever there is an increase of water inside the cylindrical tank, there is no corresponding change of the radius. While when there is an increase of water inside the cylindrical tank, there is a corresponding change of the height of the water inside the cylindrical tank. So therefore, height and volume is changing in this problem while radius is constant. So solution, volume of water. So what is the formula of volume of water inside the cylindrical tank? That is the same as the formula of the volume of a cylindrical tank. Volume that is equal to pi r squared times height. That is area of the base that is circle times height. So therefore pi r squared times height. So once you will have that formula, you are going to find the derivative. Derivative of the volume, derivative of height. You will not, you are not going to find the derivative of the radius. Why? Because radius here is constant. So therefore, dvdt is equal to pi r squared derivative of height over time. Since you are going to solve for the radius, so pi r squared that is equal to dvdt cross multiply. So, over dh dt. And you are going to solve for radius. So, cross multiply pi. So, therefore, you will have dv dt over pi dh dt. So, if finally you are going to substitute the values given, dv dt is equal to 12 feet cubic feet per minute. And dh dt, that is equivalent to 0.5 feet per minute so radius that is equal to 12 over pi times okay times 0.5 because you are going to express this one in feet per minute so that is equivalent to 0.5 feet per minute so, radius, because that is square, take the square root. So, you will have pi times 0.5. So, radius, therefore, that is equivalent to 2.76 feet. Okay. You must be, remember, you must be consistent with unit. So, how did I, okay, you will have no if you have questions, for example, you don't know how to convert 6 inches per minute to feet. So, 12 inches times 1 foot. Okay, that's the reason. You That is equivalent to cancel inches, cancel inches. So, you will have... 6 divided by 12, that is equal to 0.5 feet per minute. Okay, that's it.